We look at an event every week to establish where the trading volatility is likely to be. So let's pick up on an event for the week starting Monday, the 11th of March. And I want to focus in on Tuesday's release of consumer price inflation data. Now, this week, just having passed, uh, has reinforced that fact that the Fed is now done in its upward cycle on interest rates, now looking at a possible 100 basis points, according to some quoted in the markets, as suggesting that we could well see on the downside from this point on. Uh, but some are also uh, saying that it's data dependent. Uh, one of the data points to watch out for is inflation. So I want to focus in on what's happening next Tuesday. The core rate is likely to fall from 39 to 3.7%. If you look at the headline rate, we're looking at a figure that's static at 3.1%. The concern is, is that this could now be seeing the bottom of this part of the interest rate cycle. If we see uh, oil prices start to rise again, which has been the case this week, that might add a little bit more um, of the upside to, uh, to uh, inflation uh, in, in the future. Let's take a look at a chart now where we are looking at uh, the dollar for next week. This is the dollar basket, uh, and you can see the long term, we've got this line just below where we are at the moment uh, of interest at 101.64. Uh, just after the release of the non-farm payroll data on Friday, we see another tick lower for the dollar basket. Uh, but this line at 101.64 is key. But this line down here, this red dotted line for me, is the price target. That's down at 100. How do you trade this? You trade it using euro dollar. Now, the euro as a result of that dollar weakness is trading higher. We've also got a reason to buy into the dollar this uh, euro this week because of what's been happening with the European Central Bank. But I think this is more uh, dollar focused. Now, I've drawn a, an Andrew's pitchfork on here because this works out really nicely. Uh, from the low point we had up here, down here rather, at the 104 level, we've seen a recovery. There has been this pullback in the market. So let's put a Fibonacci on that, a Fibonacci retracement uh, to show you that this rather conveniently, this retracement hits the 61.8% perfectly and rebounds. Now for me, this means that this is a good rally and it's potentially likely to last. I uh, just want to take off that Fibonacci just to clear the, uh, the the chart a bit here. And now the Andrews Pitchfork has an initial um, rise all the way up uh, to this high up here, which would, when it crossed the midpoint, the green line, uh, and that would be your initial price target at 11140. If you're long on this at 10791, that would be dollar weakness going into the uh, CPI data next week. Your stop goes underneath this red line down here. So your stop just shy of the 108 level uh, with a view to taking this market higher. If and when it passes the green mark, you've then got this next red line up here as the next price target, which would be uh, the 11450 level, uh, which would be a considerable distance from where we are. And indeed, that would then take us back up to these levels that we've not seen uh, since the 18th of July. So going into the uh, data next week for consumer prices, 1.30 p.m. UK time on Tuesday, we'll be following up on that on Beat the Street on that day. That's going to be key next week. If we do get more dollar weakness, trade that euro higher, euro dollar, with a stop loss underneath some of the recent price action.